Hello and welcome back to some Backpack Battles. We've gotten another update uh, to Backpack Battles, which is we have been uh, given a new recipe, which is the shovel. So we'll actually hop right in here on the archer so we can take a look at that. So the shovel is a mixture of the broom and the pan, and it has a 60% chance to inflict blind. Now, blind reduces accuracy of your opponent for each stack that you have. Um, and the weapon overall isn't great it isn't terrible it's kind of they described it as an early game item um it does provide a lot of economy though and we can actually make one straight out the gate so let's do that first of all um we're not going to be able to fit the banana in here so i think hmm Yeah, there's no way we fit the banana currently. I don't think, right? Unless this gives us a way. No. Yeah, we definitely do not fit the banana in right now. And I don't think I want to put the wooden sword in there simply because of the stamina issues we're about to have. All right, we'll hang on to the, the cheap space. We'll save our gold. And uh, we'll look for... I think I want to try running two brooms. Okay, so that was to be expected. And the reason being is that we're in the process of fusing two high stamina items. Which is kind of typical when you're um, building an item is that you're going to have a rough round. So I'm not too bent out of shape about that. We'll move some of this stuff around again. We got another cheap... We got a cheap banana. Ooh, we actually have a lot of stuff here that we kind of want. Um, we dug up... Do we dig up a garlic? No, what did we dig up? Did we dig up a lucky... What did we actually dig up? Because we had the banana. And then I thought I sold my sword for the garlic. Oh, jeez. Now I feel crazy. I don't know off the top of my head. All right, so let's grab some luck. Get the cooldown on those bananas. And I kind of want the dagger, but I feel like we can wait because that's a it's a rare item. So uh, if you don't know how the shop works, basically all of the percentages are changed on every entry of the shop, right? So we have 84% chance for common right now. Next shop, that'll be lower, and rare will be higher. Epic will be higher. So we can bank on getting daggers if we want them later on. I think I'd rather roll to try and get more brooms and pans. So we'll let that rock. I don't know if we win this. We have roughly equal regen... They're running out of stamina. Very nice. All right, we got a nice crit there right at the end. Um, we were actually doing like less... No, we were actually doing a little bit more total damage per second. So it was just uh, ours was more bursty as theirs was a bit more consistent. We'll sell that straight away. We don't need it. Um, we'll buy both of these, I think. And then we will get our second shovel going. Um, we need to sell something here. Uh, we're, we want to hang on to the bananas because our situation with um, stamina is not good. All right, I think we'll do that for now. Uh, we're probably going to take another loss here because we're, again, in the kind of transition period of stacking items. So we'll probably get poison diffed. Yep, certainly. All right, that's not a problem. Again, that's kind of expected. All right, so we've got our two shovels now. Um, 
I don't necessarily want attack speed on the shovels, so we'll get rid of that. And the reason I don't is because they cost so much stamina that it's not super helpful for us right now to have attack speed on them. Um, and with that same kind of idea in mind, we also do not need cooldown on them. Is there any way I can fit both of these bananas into this bag? Oops. Alright. A little messy, but is what it is. Um, hmm. So now, what I can't figure out yet when using these shovels is the complementary weapon to them. A lightsaber would be pretty good. Um, and also, like, a ton of mana regen and usage, I think, is solid. I guess we'll grab another blind and probably just run it. We have to work through that defense, but we might be able to pull this one out. They are having some stamina issues, and we are not. Very nice. All right. So the double banana, this is the first time I've run two bananas, and that, oh, goodness, we can dig some good stuff up with this. So I don't know if I mentioned it originally, but our shovels, when we enter a shop, they also dig up a random item for us, um, which is really doing some work right now. Uh, digging up a piggy bank is pretty solid. And we could actually combine our piggy bank to give us some greater uh, chance of inflicting that blind. Because in our recipes, we can create the lucky piggy, which... Uh, increases the chance base effect of the item that it's attached to by 20%. So that would give us an 80% chance to blind. If we could create two of those, actually, we might be sitting in a really good spot. Let's go ahead and buy some more space. We'll buy another luck. I guess we can slap our rock up there for now. Um, I don't think we need any more space yet. Would another banana... Another banana would certainly be nice. Hmm. And we could actually fit it if we got rid of the rock. Is there anything we really want from here? We need to start figuring out our damage soon. How we're going to do our damage. Um. Maybe... I mean, we could... we uh, They're just not going to stack them in damage well, so crit isn't going to scale well with our shovels. We're, out, we're already out of the market for any of the blades. We're probably not going to get many more pans. We could make a claws of attack. But that, again, that's going to eat into our stamina a bit. Maybe, maybe we just go daggers. Maybe we try and stack up a bunch of daggers. All right, so after this fight is done, we're going to take a look at their weapon accuracy. All right, so we stacked up 12 stacks of blind on them, which is 5% uh, percent decreased accuracy per stack. So that adds up to 60%, which means both their dagger and their hero sword were sitting at uh, 35 and 30% 30 accuracy, respectively. So that's why blind can be really strong, even though we're not pumping out a ton of damage now. Um we're still able to win these fights because they're missing a lot of attacks on us. Um, actually, if we check the log, <coughs> excuse me, uh, it should show some misses here. So yeah, missed by hero sword, missed for or a miss for hero sword, miss for hero sword, um, miss for hero sword, miss for hero sword, and again, yeah. So we're we're making the enemy miss often, which is kind of our whole. Our whole deal right now. 
We'll sell that extra gem. I don't think we need that right now. Um, I do want the dagger. I want the luck. And I sort of want the poison. But we don't get the poison and the dagger into our build yet. So I think we leave the poison for now. And maybe we grab some space to slap the dagger in. Uh, which now we should move some of this stuff around. Um, what do I really want cooldown on? I kind of, I really do want cooldown on my bananas. So maybe we do this. Alright, I think I can live with that. Um, another luck? Or blind? I think I want more blind. Do we need more luck? More luck will be nice later on. Alright, so again, we've got that blind stacked up. So they should be missing a good bit, which they are. However, they had more regen than us, so they outlasted us in the fatigue, on the fatigue side of things. Okay, we can, I gotta, I gotta remember, we can stop buying pocket sand, because we'll get plenty, um, just from digging it up. Maybe we go a hungry blade, but then our mana, our mana is gonna be, or our stamina usage is gonna be crazy. Hmm. It would be at four. We do have three bananas, though. And this gives us an extra stamina. Because we can sell that straight away, right? Yeah, so where does that put us? That puts us at high. Oh, shoot. Um, let's sell one of our sands, so we'll probably get one back later. Um, is that how I want this? I don't think so. We're going to push the whole thing up one. So we're going to do function up. I don't know if this will work. So we're going to test this out. We'll have to pay attention to our stamina. Uh... Okay. Our stamina is not too bad, actually. Now after taking another look at that. Um, and our Hungry Blade is doing some good damage, so... That might be... That might be the play. What is this? That's 1.5, whereas this one... This starts at 1, so it actually gains stamina if we grab a Bloodthorn. So we probably won't do that. Um... Poison... I feel like the mana could be huge. But maybe we just want crit? We just gave up all our sand. Let's grab this and let's buy some space. So we definitely want to get the poison in there. I think poison will be kind of solid for us. 
Um, we could grab a carrot. Carrots might be pretty solid because um, we already have five luck, so we'll be getting the full passive or the, the additional passive from the carrot. This is such a mess. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um... Uh, we need to move all this. Actually, well, no, we'll just leave that for now. And then I want to get... Oh, goodness. We're just moving everything. All right dagger in there for our piercing arrow. We get the poison on there to mix with our dagger. Which that's just going to be kind of some random DPS that we're adding. Definitely not the best item that we could have there. And then I think we're just going to stack the rest of our sand. We'll get two more slots from these fuse so we can either throw our carrot in or some more pocket sand. Um, but for now... Actually, maybe we'll take out the luck because piercing arrow should... We should have plenty of luck right now. Do we want another dagger? Sort of. We'll reserve it. We could always get rid of it later. Alright. So how's our damage looking? A Hungry Blade is kind of carrying. Shovels aren't bad. How does that compare to hers? 2.6, 3.8. Yeah, we had way more damage. Alright, we got a couple more items that we can sell. Um, let's move some of this stuff around. So now we've got our carrot cracking off of our piercing arrow as well. We can stack a little more blind. And then, do we want... The book would be good if we can get a bunch of mana. Which, if I put... These also don't need to be next to each other. So, like, if I put that there... That would make some pretty solid... We're gonna have to move everything though if we move that now. Um I think we'll pass on the book for now. Let's grab the dagger. We could make a another dagger that steals health. Which might actually be good with a hungry blade. Does that cost any mana or any stamina? It does not. But we do kind of still need that stamina, huh? I mean, I think we'll be all right. With two, with two bananas, we risk one... Um, we risk one round to more than likely... What does this give us? One, one... Yeah, we risk one round to more than likely be able to fit everything next round. Plus, we have a heroic potion coming through, which we can mix with a banana. We'll give that a shot. All right. So it looks like we're averaging getting around 60% 60, um, 60 
blind or decrease in accuracy. However, that's also being combated by her luck. I think that means we just need more blind. <laughs> just stack the blind. All right. Cool. So now we also have the bloody dagger. Um, what if we did mix this whole thing up right now? Is this actually benefiting us at all? By doing this? We need space bad. Oh my gosh, grab the sand. Um... We're going to be stacking a lot of blind once we have a second Lucky Piggy. How much do we have? We have 14. I feel like we need to fit the other bananas in there. For sure, right? We're going to gain some space back here. So that keeps everything procced on our piercing arrow, which is giving us extra crit damage. Um, I kind of still want both of these items. So maybe we buy the heroic potion now. Try to get some more space and save the... Oh, gosh. All right. And we drop one blind to be able to fuse this into a strong he he oh my gosh strong heroic potion and that's gonna give us five spots worth of space back so I think once that happens we're gonna be in really good shape this is gonna be a tough build um, the blind is good though yeah, they just can't hit us. They can't hit us if we stack up that blind properly. Cool. Alright. Now let's move stuff around again. So, we do want to keep both of these Lucky Piggies on the shovels. Um... We actually do want to put these back because we want as many vampiric items next to this dagger as possible. Oh my gosh, we have so much junk in here. These shovels are just laying it on us. Um... All right, I think we need to buy a little more space. Actually, we could do this. That gives us extra crit chance on all these weapons. We could stack our, oh goodness, our sand back in. We could get our potion in and our last bit of luck. Uh, what is this? 20% chance to attack health directly, gain one uh, mana and inflict. All right, what's our fastest attack weapon? 3.5, 3.5, 1.6. All right, we'll slap that on the Hungry Blade. It doesn't really hurt us right now. I think we'll get rid of the garlic. Okay. And we definitely make another dagger. There we go. 
All right. So now we'll have another bloody dagger, which will give us even more regen. And both of these bloody daggers are going to benefit off of each other because they'll be near other vampiric items. That's wild. All right. He just can't hit with any of his items. So regardless of how much damage they have, if, you, if, it's, if it's not landing, it doesn't matter. Our Hungry Blade was tripling the damage per second of all of their, or both of their best weapons. Their pan never even hit, practically. This is cool. All right. We can sell both of these. Um... These bloody daggers are benefiting basically to the best that they can currently. Uh, another carrot might be really solid. Um, we would need some more space. Hmm. Not really where I would love that positioned, but isn't the end of the world. For every seven debuffs inflicted, we gain five defense. We don't have any armor we can apply that to right now. We got to keep the bananas for the stamina. What does that give? 12 defense or 2 stamina or 2 luck. Uh, we need more space before we can do anything. Oh, that doesn't fit there. Hmm. I mean, we could move all this stuff over one, right? So then we go there. This is also a waste currently. Could I get both of these? Carrots benefiting from each. Probably not, right? They would... Oh, no, we could. If we put them like this. No. We still won't. All right. All right, so at least those have some cooldown. We can grab some more space, I guess. Because that still doesn't... There's like... there's. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe there is a way. Ah, there we are. And we still satisfy our piercing arrow. Cool. Our cooldown... Uh, satchels are kind of all over the place, but that's all right. Okay, we should be able to rip through these fights now. Okay. Yeah, we're doing a lot of damage, and we're healing for a ton. Um, are we generating any mana? Not really. Let's... Do we even need more space in that form, I guess? Alright, let's start getting some healing going. Uh, we'll actually grab another dagger, just in case we uh, come up upon another bloodstone. Bloodstone. 
so long as we don't have, so long as they don't have thorns, we just shred people now. Some more free gold. These are better than piggy banks. And we have the piggy banks. All right. Um... Ooh. Uh, do we want another poison dagger? Doesn't hurt, but I don't really think so. Um, we might as well get these mixed. So... Oh, what do we do? What do we do? Do we just sack a turn? Actually, we don't even have to get them combined. We don't have to get the health potion combined with these healing herbs because the healing herbs are still benefiting uh, Hungry Blade. So, we're good with that. Uh, ba -ba -ba. We'll grab another one of these, and in we go. Okay. Very nice. Yeah, we just have a ton of healing. And frankly, quite a bit of damage. Our Hungry Blade is really, really rocking right now. Some more free gold, a little bit more regen. Um, <sighs> Book of Light is okay, is good. But we need an effective mana orb to make it really work. Mana orb there isn't bad, actually. Uh, I don't think I want that turning into... So that's what I was thinking of. When 20 is used... Oh, right. You guys didn't see the recording where I got confused on that. But anyways, I guess that's just history. Uh, gain one mana on hit. Stamina cost goes down to 0.5. But we lose the vampirism effect. So we lose healing on... On our weapon there. Um... Hmm... I don't think we combine those currently. Another carrot would be really solid too, actually. We're going to save the carrot. Because I think we're going to want another one of those. So we need 10 stamina. So we'll see how fast we stack up 10 stamina. Okay. And by stamina, I meant mana. Not very fast. We're still killing it, though. This is a lot of fun. Uh, what does this do for us? Remove a ma random buff. All right. I do want the extra carrot. And what else? We don't really need another dagger. Because we still haven't even combined this one. Don't really need more luck either. Oh, another book might be nice. But we need more mana. Ooh, this might be a tough fight. Not if they can't hit us. Wow. This blind is crazy. Hmm. 
These these shovels are kind of nuts. I'm starting to realize now. Uh, there's a little bit of extra mana regen. Ooh, another carrot? Are you kidding? Um, how do we make this fit? We need another single slot. Or a double. Uh, that we can replace. Wait a minute. Yeah. That's a really inefficient use of that cooldown, but... These carrots are kind of huge right now. Probably should move this guy down here. We have a full board right now. Just need one more item. All right. Let's run it. Oh boy, a deck build. She's gonna steal a lot of our health, but we have a lot of regen. Two ruby chalks. Man. 29 heat, so all of her items were triggering stupid fast. And she actually had a surprising amount of accuracy, despite our stacks of uh, blind. Our empower is really coming through for us, though. Hungry Blade. Shovel's still doing decent damage. Shovel did more damage to both Ruby Chalks. All right, last round. We do want to get this shoved in here somewhere. That works. Um, do we want to trade out for a little more blind? We want to keep this luck, because this gives us our five luck between the two lucky piggies and our lucky clover. Um, this gets a little bit of extra damage through having the healing herbs. Honestly, I think we're already... I think we're good. Like, what else do we really want? Can't use that. <coughs> Excuse me. I mean, a blood amulet isn't bad. Do we pop in the blood amulet and get rid of the last dagger? This gives us more damage. Yeah, I think we just run it. Alright, last fight. She has a lot of defense. And she's stacking up a lot of poison. There's our second invulnerability. Oh man, just can't make it through the, the vampirism. 305 from our Hungry Blade. Shovel still did 149. And her poison was stacking up like crazy. She had 85 stacks on us. Very nice. All right. Well, I know uh, at least one person in the comments had asked for another uh, Backpack Battles video. So I did want to throw one out there because I do still enjoy the game. I just don't play it as much as uh, some of the other games I play here on the channel. So if you did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Oh, my goodness. Well, you know what to do. Anyways, catch you in the next one.